All right, you guys asked for it, a brand new updated video on how to connect OBS and Zoom so that you can hear the audio from Zoom in your headphones, you can send audio and video from OBS to Zoom, and you can bring Zoom audio and video back into OBS. Let's do it after this. All right, guys, I just wanted to start by saying that 96% of you guys on YouTube are not subscribed to our channel yet. It really helps us out if you subscribe to our channel and you can always unsubscribe later. So if you don't like our content, you know, unsubscribe. But if you're watching this video, I'm guessing you're really going to like some of the new content we have. So hit the subscribe button and hit that bell. It really helps us out. So over 700,000 of you guys have watched the OBS to Zoom video, and I've got over 700 comments that I've been going through, and I wanna answer all of them today. Uh, I'm pretty much gonna go over everything you need to know to truly connect OBS and Zoom. I'm gonna be using a Windows computer, but I understand you can do this with Mac, and there's been some great updates for OBS, that allow the virtual camera to be a lot easier as well. So I'm excited about this. So this is the full setup and I know it's kind of crazy. So there's a full blog post on this. Don't get too scared, it's not that hard. Let's start with the video capture real quick. We're gonna capture the Zoom video into OBS using a desktop capture or a Windows capture input inside of OBS. That's the, the video is super easy. How are we gonna get our OBS video into Zoom? Simple, we're gonna use that virtual webcam output from OBS. OBS 26 now has the virtual webcam output built in. So you click the start virtual webcam button that we'll look at, then you bring the webcam video into Zoom as your webcam. Super simple, the video no one has had any issues with. It's the audio that gets a little tricky. And in our last video, which I do still think is a good video for you guys to watch and learn about how to connect OBS and Zoom together, we talked about literally just sending a virtual audio cable out of your OBS headphone monitor output and just bringing that into Zoom, that works great. And then using another virtual audio cable to take the speaker output of Zoom, all the people that you're hearing, and bring that back into OBS also works great. But what we're gonna talk about today is adding voice e meter. And what voice e meter is gonna do is it's going to allow us to still monitor all of the OBS and Zoom audio in your headphones. That was a missing piece for a lot of people. So we're gonna talk about that. It gets a little trickier. So what do you need? You need Zoom. You need the latest version of OBS, which currently is 26. Um, currently, the virtual webcam feature is available for Windows and they're working on Mac still. So um, keep that in mind. Some folks have had better success with the virtual cam plugin. So either way, you should be able to get your virtual camera from OBS into Zoom easily. That's the easy part. You are going to need virtual audio cables, two of them. You're going to need one for your virtual, for your microphone coming into Zoom and your speaker coming out of Zoom into OBS. Now there is a software called Soundflower for Mac. I'm just gonna cover Windows today but Soundflower should cover you if you're a Mac user, so most of this will still apply. Now, in our last tutorial, we didn't use Voicey Meter, so we weren't able to monitor the audio from Zoom, and that was an issue. Uh, you, could set, you could set up a secondary computer or smartphone to monitor the audio in Zoom, but this is going to allow us to use our headphones to monitor the audio with our computer, and so you do want a pair of headphones, and if you want to do video, it's really good to have two monitors. I really think that two monitors are good because that way you can capture the video of Zoom into OBS. So video is easy. We're going to go ahead and click the start virtual camera button in OBS. We're going to go over to Zoom and we're going to select our OBS camera as our webcam. And then if we wanna bring the video from Zoom back into OBS so we can have high quality recordings 
so we can stream to different destinations, so we can turn everything into an NDI output, lots of great things that you can do with OBS. Uh, basically, we're just gonna add an input, we're gonna do a display capture, we're gonna capture an entire display running Zoom, and I'll just give you guys a couple quick tips here. If you're running Zoom, we'll take a look at this in a second. This is taking the output of this uh, basically right now in OBS, which again, we're gonna take a look at. But in Zoom here, a couple quick tips. If you go to video settings and you go to accessibility, um, you have the ability to remove the meeting bar. So it's not always there. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Um, enable HD. If you're having an issue with the video being mirrored, you can hit this mirror my video button as well. And then um, that's pretty much it. So that's what you need there. We'll look at the audio cables in a second. You can see my microphone coming into OBS here. And then this is the speaker button that we'll look at as well. And that's pretty much all you need to, uh, to set this up inside of OBS, but let's keep going here. So you can see my virtual webcams running. Anything in OBS goes into Zoom. That's what we want. So that's great. And we capture everything in Zoom into OBS with a display capture or a window capture. The audio side of this is the tricky part, and I'm going to walk you through it. This is the hard part, but don't worry, you guys can do it. You need to get the virtual audio cables and you need to get voicey meter. Where do you get that? vb-audio.com. We can go ahead and download this for Windows or for Mac. So again, we can make this work for Mac as well. And we download it and you do need the A and B cable, not the free one. You know, it, basically you want this one right here because you need two. You need an A cable and a B cable. So download this one here and it says donate. So I, you need to make some donation. I believe it's donationware. So be, be a good person, donate them a dollar or whatever they, the minimum is or however you feel as much as worth to you. So we got VB audio, we got get voicey meter at the same website. So just click voicey meter, download this for, I think this might only be for Windows. So Soundflower is the Mac option. Uh, but we're going to download Voicey Meter and we're going to need that. So now let's take a look at Zoom and the way we're going to set this up. So I set up the speaker to be cable B. So that's how, where we're going to send our audio out of Zoom into OBS. And then the microphone as cable A. So that's where we're going to take our audio from OBS and bring it into um zoom and, and we do that via selecting it as our microphone now we're going to put voicey in the middle here it's very simple to do and that allows us to monitor everything as well so to use voicey meter of course you need to install it then you need to open the sound settings in windows and set it up to be your default sound device. So you right click the microphone speaker system, you open sound settings, and then in Windows 10, you have to click the sound control panel. This opens up your sound control panel, right click voice meter input, and select that you would like to set it as your default system. So really quickly, I'll show you what that looks like. I open up my sound settings, I go to my sound control panel, here I am here. If I were to right click one of these, I already have a little check mark there showing that it's enabled, but if I right click it, then I can go to, you know, basically set as default device. That's what you want to do. Okay. So we set it as our default device. Now we've pretty much done everything, but we got to take a peek at voicey meter here. So voicey meter, I'm going to zoom into this a little bit to get this nice and uh, big for you guys. Essentially, what we're doing is we are coming in. You can see the audio coming in right there from cable A. And then we are taking the cable B input from Zoom so that we can hear it all. And then it's all coming in right there. So I have that muted right now because I don't want to hear myself in my earphones. But this is your, now your headphone output. And right here, 
I'm selecting my Realtek HD, which is my headphones. So that's how you can monitor everything. That's pretty much what Voicey Meter does for us. It allows us to monitor it. Before Voicey Meter, we were still able to do everything we needed uh, by sending audio back and forth from Zoom, but it's nice for us to be able to monitor it as well. So now let's take a look at the OBS audio settings. Now in OBS, when you open it up and you go to settings, there's this whole audio tab here. So when we go into our audio tab, there's a couple things we need to note. OBS only has one audio output that we can use for this, and that's the advanced monitoring device. So I have cable A set up here. And so cable A essentially will um, send out the audio from OBS for any audio that we have set up in our audio mixer as monitor. So you got to right click or just hit the cog in your audio mixer, open up advanced audio properties, and you got to select what audio do you want to send out via this virtual audio cable that's going into Zoom. So any of these that I select for either monitor or monitor and output, um, they will go directly to, to Zoom and therefore they will go directly to Boise Meter. So you can see that audio cable A is coming through here because I got a video playing and there's audio with it and I'm pumping that into Zoom and I want that to happen. So that is good. The other thing I want to show really quickly, just so you guys can see that this is all working and it's a great way to test to make sure everything's working, is if you open up Zoom, so this is my Zoom meeting, and if I go into audio settings and I click test speaker, so that just starts playing audio, you can see in voicey meter that the audio is coming through here, right? That's the audio, so I hit stop. No audio coming through cable B. But if I hit test speaker, audio is coming through. So anything that comes through with, um, with, with Zoom, it should come through right there. And then you can monitor it all with this hardware output by turning these up. Okay. Perfect. Everything is working great. All right. So what is next on our list here? So the next thing is that we pr you probably want to bring all the audio from Zoom into OBS. How do we do that? Well, uh, you can basically set up cable B to be one of your audio, your global audio devices. So we've already done that inside of OBS. This is going to be our other test here. So you see, basically, when we go to settings and we go to audio, desktop audio 2 is cable B. And so that's good so that when, again, when we do our test here with Zoom and we go over here to test speaker, when I click that button, you can see down here that the audio from Zoom is coming through. So when I hit stop, audio stops. When I hit start, audio goes. So we've got that connected directly into Zoom. All right. This is everything everybody asked for. We talked about this monitoring output. So monitor and output are two different things. Monitor is that virtual audio cable going into Zoom now. Generally, it's used for headphones, but it's used for that, for this purpose. And then output is like what you're streaming and recording. So hit monitor and output if you want it to go through both. So what's happening here? Well, um, audio meter is bringing audio in from Zoom into OBS. It's going from OBS into Zoom and it's giving us our headphone audio output, which is what everybody wanted. We talked about bringing that audio into Zoom and using that test speaker button to test everything. You did it, guys. You've done it. Once again, hit that subscribe button. This was not easy. 700 comments, learning about all this stuff. You guys rock. You helped me figure this out as well. Get the unofficial guide to open broadcaster software. I've totally updated this book to include more information about recording and streaming with OBS and Zoom. So this is an awesome book for increasing your knowledge with OBS. So pick up a copy of this. And I finally want to mention, and this is, 
you know, not necessarily for our Zoom, our Zoom fans, but vMix is a software we like to use a lot in our studio. It has multiple audio outputs, so there's no need for voicey meter. And it solves some of those other problems like muting headphones inside of, you know, muting yourself so you don't hear yourself back in your headphones and stuff like that. And uh, we have a great video on how to connect vMix and Zoom together. So that might be of interest for you guys, but that's it. Also wanted to mention, we have an awesome OBS user group on Facebook that the Stream Geeks manage. Check out my cool OBS shirt. We're fans, right? So, uh, you know, join that group and let us know what you think in the comments below. I hope this video really helps you guys because I know a lot of you were asking for this stuff. All right, cheers. Bye.